Hi, I'm Janiel from 4D Systems. Are you looking for a project to fire you up? An exciting project to improve your knowledge on programming? Well, you've come to the right place. Because today, I'll show you how to use our Arduino to control this LED matrix. An LED matrix is basically a set of LEDs arranged into rows and columns. They are connected in a way that their cathodes are joined in rows while their anodes are joined in columns, or the other way around. Let's take a look at this table. As you can see, if we supply a low value from the column pin and a high value from a row pin, an LED from the matrix will light up. After that, let's try supplying a high value into another row pin. Here you can see another LED from the same column lighted up. Good start, right? Um. Now, the problem comes when you supply low in another column pin. As you can see, two LEDs turned on. Hmm. Terrible, isn't it? Now, here's the trick. What do you think will happen if we turn on specific LEDs one column at a time, from end to end repetitively, and do it so fast that our eyes can't see it turning on and off? Let's have a look. For this project, we will need a, a Forduino, an LED matrix, two breadboards, resistors, and of course, connecting wires. We have to connect each resistors in series with the row pins. Then connect the other end of the resistors in Forduino IO pins. We also need to connect the column pins to another set of pins in our Arduino. I already connected mine. After you've connected the following, we are ready to make our code. You may visit our website for the complete code for this project. Open it with Workshop 4. You can see that this project uses extended graphics. Let's analyze this code. First, we define the libraries at one side. Then, we set our error handling function. This function is called whenever serial communication error occurs. At the start of our setup, we have to first reset the display. Then, enable the touch detection feature. Mount the SD card, then display the initial objects. Going to the loop, we can navigate to a selected form. Then, in that form, we can set the matrix pattern, and then display it. Now, let's upload our code. Make sure that the Forduino is connected to the correct home port. Also, make sure that the SD card is connected to your computer. Then, wait until it uploads. That's it! Is it enough, right? I hope you like this video. If you want to see more projects regarding our Ford Nino, come visit our website and YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.